ask yourself why. Why do you want to fulfill this specific career? These nuts. <sighs> Welcome back, guys. Wow, it's been a while. A couple months. A couple months since I last uploaded. And as you saw from the title, this video is not um, related to gaming at all. I, I thought this video would be really important to make because I, I feel a lot of people go through this. And it's where you, know, you graduate with a degree and, and you go off and do some jobs and find out that, wait, this is not the career I want to do for the rest of my life. I've been through that. I graduated with a fine arts degree and I found out after trying numerous jobs, it just wasn't my thing. You know, it's funny because I have a degree that I've spent, that w my family has spent a lot of money on t to, to give me the education to get this degree. And in the end, I'm like, oh, this is not the career I wanted. You know, so, I mean, I feel like this type of situation is very normal for a lot of people, actually. I wanted to give my opinions and help to you guys on how I decided what my next step was. So what I want you guys to do is make a list of five careers that have always interested you or that you've always wanted to try. What I want you to do is go through each, each of those five careers and ask this one question. Why do you want to fulfill this specific career? So let's say you got doctor as number one, you got content creator as number two, you got maybe uh, designer number, sorry. Designer as number three, uh, entrepreneur as number four, and journalism as number five. So we got doctor as number one. So why do you want to be a doctor? And from there, you can form these questions for yourself after you've answered, like after you've asked this first question, so why do you want to be a doctor? Um, let's say your, you answer, your answer is, um, I like helping people, or the salary's really good, You've always been interested in the anatomy of the body. And from there, you form the question, things like, okay, so what are the skills that I need to learn? Um, what do I need to do? What is my next step to succeed in this field? Or am I passionate about it? I try to avoid questions like, would my parents approve? Or answers like, oh, because my parents want to be, you know, forget about what your parents want. This is about you. This is your life, it's your decision. This is, you are gonna be doing whatever you decide, you're gonna be doing it for the rest of your life. Okay, so try not to say things concerning other people's opinions or, or feelings. Yeah, this is, because this is about you. You want to decide what type of career you wanna go for. The main point I'm trying to get across here is that you guys should try. So otherwise, are you just gonna end up being stuck in the same job or let's say same field that you're unhappy with for the rest of your life, right? I wanna give an example of for me. All right, so I've tried numerous jobs in design. You know, I, I tried being a graphic designer, I tried being a visual effects designer. I tried being a 3D interior designer. I decided like, I'm gonna stop doing design and try and do something else. So I saw this opportunity where I was able to work for my father and he owns a business company. So I was, I was like, I went up to him and I said, hey, do you need help? Um, do you need an extra person there? And he said, yeah. Yeah, I actually need somebody. So I was like, okay. 
can I work for you? I said, sure, why not? And he hired me on the spot. Even I had no experience, no nothing. Like I mean, when you have fam, when you have an opportunity like that, you should take it. Like just try it out, see if you like it, see if that's something you want to do. Because when you get that chance and you try it out, you can put that in your resume if you were to ever do something else, and you can learn so many. Like you can just learn so many new skills, more skills, you know, from what you already learned from college. And you can always bring that with you, no matter which job you go to next, or if you do stick with that job, you you keep these skills with you for the rest of your life, which is really really valuable. So, yeah, I worked for my dad for a couple years, and I worked really hard. I ended up being、uh, a manager in one of his companies, and I can say I have learned so much, and I'm so grateful for that opportunity. But I also did realize that business was not my thing. And but you know, other than just walking away from it, I can say that I learned so much, and that I I can use those skills in whatever job I do next. I tried working in a restaurant, of course, starting at the low end, being a waiter, and after working there for a certain amount of time, I became a, a assistant chef. So, you know, when you try out these new things, it's not just you go in there half-hearted and just try, right? I mean, you got to put in the work. It's it's just like any other job. When you get the job, you got to put your heart into it. You got to work hard. You got to be willing to learn. Otherwise, if I didn't have that motivation or dedication, I would have been stuck in the design field, feeling unhappy for. And even until now, you know, I, I would be pretty unhappy and miserable, right? And that's that's not what you want. You want to be you want to be able to find that dream, find that passion, or that purpose that gives you fulfillment in your life. When you're able to do something that you're passionate about, I mean, that's got to be more meaningful than you know just living day by day. Easily, you know. I mean, of course, if your family is rich and you have the opportunity to live such a chill life, why not, right? Yeah, I mean, for for my case, I really wanted to find that purpose in my life, and I want you guys to do to do that as well. There are two things that I want you guys to take away from this video.、So、write down five careers that you've always been interested in and wanted to try, and try, try them out. Let's say in the case of our example, the doctor, you can volunteer to、um, work in a hospital. Of course, right now it's a little bit difficult. I mean, it's not the best option because of what's going on in the world. But let's hope when this pandemic dies down and you want to be a doctor, you can try out working out、uh, working in a in a hospital, be a volunteer, or you can, if you have connections, you can talk to a. Private doctor who owns a clinic, you can talk to them. Say like, hey, do you think I can volunteer or be a helper for you? You know, for me, it was it was not about the pay, although some in in, in some way it, it does matter. But gaining that experience and understanding that maybe this type of career is for you or not is I feel more valuable than than the money. At, at this point, you know, because if you, you know, you're in your twenties, you have the mental strength, you have the physical strength, you have, you, you just have that energy to put out、um, hard work and and dedication to towards what you want to do next, right? So, yeah, those two things, make that list and try it out. It really doesn't hurt to try, and of course, you know, when you try something new, don't. Invest too much money into it. You know, if you're a content creator, if you want to be a content creator, for example, don't immediately go and and buy the this really expensive setup. You know, maybe in the end when you might not want to be a content creator, so you ended up spending thousands of dollars on on a setup that you're just not going to use later on. Get go lightly on your investments towards these、uh, careers that you want to try.
But personally, I feel like this is one of the best ways to to give yourself a sort of direction on where you want to go next. If you have any other questions that you'd like to ask, just put it down in the comment section below. Take it easy, love life, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!